Wait, are they gonna hear me? Probably. Yeah, I think they can hear you, yeah. So, okay, people. Uh, this is, um, that's, um, Henry that you're hearing. Uh, Hi. And, um, so we're gonna go through, uh, some thumbnails and what happened to them. And roughly what I was thinking about while I w was doing them. So this red one, um, I think people like this more, probably because it's red. But anyway, so <clears throat> as always, I was trying to get something out of the uh, messy uh, um, me messy, messy, uh, glitchy texture that I use a lot of times, this one. And um, I decided that I, I want to uh, have something really bright and really intensive in the scene and I want this intensive bright thing to be very dominant so I picked a big um, chunk of um, the red part of the texture and um, then I I played with it a little bit and then I got uh, this is how I got the um, the hill over here and um, while I was playing with I, I think it was this one I think I just just duplicated this and just started playing around with it or maybe it was another one it doesn't matter it's the same patch and while I was playing with it I saw that the red hill goes really well with some white streaks that could be uh, probably um, snow and also red and white um, and of course blue go historically very well together so I was thinking of a red hill with white snow on it on um, and in the backdrop could be um, I was thinking of something blue so probably mountains that in the distance so they blew out in the distance well enough for um, the um, red to pop out better with the white but then I, at some point I dropped these white spots that you see here and there I wanted to I tried a bunch of things to have with the white stuff to have a bit of snow here and there um, but just nothing I didn't like any of it so I just ditched the idea and um, just decided to to focus more on um, making the uh, plane a little bit more it wasn't always like that it was a, a bit messier so I cleaned it up um, a bit more and there were there was more detail um, on the sides <clears throat> and I still don't think that it's clean enough actually mm -hmm. um, like this was way more noisier and um, this could be cleaned up I don't like any of my sketches actually I it's it, thank god I paused them right away because otherwise I wouldn't post anything I just hate everything the, the next day not even sometimes can't even make it through the day it's cool though <laughs> that you, you came up with such a cool idea so quickly and then, if you like it or not, you can, you know, you can ditch it or you can keep on working on it. So. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, this is still noisy here. It could be cleaned up still, but anyway. Um. <clears throat> uh. So then I, I wanted to have a very. I wanted to focus more, and it's still not very. It's not still the best composition. This green here is probably too saturated and it draws away the attention from the from this from the hill and the composition is not the strongest one. Maybe this could have been lighter and bluer. And yeah, but anyway, um I decided to keep 
Actually, part of the reason I want this to be clear, or even more simple and more cleaned up, is the central part over here. Because this looks like a portal to another dimension. <laughs> it looks like the, 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 the ground is dropping off, like dropping in to the hill. So I was I was thinking of like paprika and um, just all the movies where the corridor bends or like the ground bends and just drops off or just yeah sci-fi things anyway maybe I, I was even thinking of getting this close-up of the hill at some point and just cleaning this whole this is too bright and just cleaning this whole shit up or like that this is too saturated anyway and do this and just work on on the uh, just work on the hole to another dimension <laughs> I don't know how this will look like but actually one of the one of my goals with these um, thumbnails is to eventually at some point see if one of them works well enough so I um, detail it a little bit more and just make it like a proper maybe like a proper picture I haven't done a detailed nice illustration -y thingy for myself in such a long time I just don't have time for anything so it's always something really quick I am absolutely sure everyone can relate to that right mm -hmm. yeah so um yeah um and um as I, I was I was talking about this on Instagram all my most of my stuff at some point I realized they are dark and very they go to black a lot and I really don't like that like the the dark the, the shadowy parts mm -hmm. go too close to black and the whole thing gets very contrasty in the wrong way <clears throat> and you can see that really clearly with <laughs> with this with the um with the thumbnail where uh I have a crack and a and a post guy uh a delivery truck or something like that and this guy is driving me crazy I shouldn't have put a person in the scene at all <laughs> it's just so bad and also I should have uh, probably blended the truck a little bit better like maybe have like weeds here and there maybe have like some tracks like that or something but for sure I need a little bit of detail on the front I think I feel like and also this edge could be a little bit less hard Yeah, so anyway, <clears throat> my idea with this one was to just um, have a, a very desaturated palette and to, mm, to have um, more organic, I don't know, um, like an organic path or something in the thumbnail for the eye to follow so I just picked one of the branches from the trees and made it look like a river or something and then I decided that I, I don't want to have a river I want to have a crack in the ground so but anyway and then uh, I was thinking like oh what is this place what the hell is this place and where would that be and then I started thinking about maps because it was I was listening to some Joe Rogan or something as I do and they were talking about maps and I was like well maybe maybe someone knows so I just put this 
uh, pin, map pin uh, in the focus of uh, my composition. And then I was like, well, then probably someone is looking for it. And then I started thinking about Amazon and delivery. So I put an old, an old render of a sketch I made for a vehicle that I wanted to do that I didn't do. And just decided to try out a bunch of um, delivery truck ideas or something. Um, actually, I have a bunch of those. This was supposed to be a ice cream truck. Or um, at least to um, be a, some sort of a new type of an ice cream truck. I have a bunch of those. But anyway, um, as you guys can see, I have a lot of um, just bare uh, layers la laying around everywhere because I try all kinds of things and I ch keep some of the tests um, while I'm finishing stuff but I always try to try to every every few minutes take decisions and uh, delete a bunch of things or merge a bunch of things because otherwise it gets just horrible and you can't do anything and you just scramble through layers like idiot and also I really like naming my layers so I try to keep them just as few as possible because you can just spend all your day naming layers uh, and yeah, what are you thinking, Henry, when you do your sketches? <laughs> uh, I don't know, um, I guess when it comes to more, uh, kind of, like, creative sort of environments, it's like thumbnailing, like, different I ideas and scenarios, uh, I just make sure it's readable, um, Having a story usually helps um, move the image along. Uh, and then after once it's readable, uh, I usually just add color um, onto the image. Um, kind of like that pink flamingo one, just like I just add like super saturated colors. Uh, I think we have like very similar workflows, I think. So, so you begin um, with a black and white thing? Uh, not necessarily. Sometimes I go, uh, I just keep it very graphic. And then over time, I just, um, you know, uh, I just kind of refine the image, change the colors, um, make sure everything's readable at the end. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I know it's, um, and also it depends on what you're thinking about as well, right? I mean, it's, um, it, it really, so for example, I wanted, I really wanted to, uh, to do a bunch of bright images and it's because of the things that I, it's too dark, it's too just not. So I got it into my mind that I want to do just like what kind of scenario would let me have all the baby colors, right? All mm -hmm. the, all the sugary, all the all of that <laughs> yeah. so so I, I I started thinking about okay I'm gonna make a candy forest <laughs> and uh, so actually the flamingo thing was supposed to be a candy forest actually this this was, was supposed to be a candy forest but then yeah. I was like fuck you doing forests all the time first stop it with the forests and forests are so fun though, so... Yeah, it's true, yeah, that's true, but I uh, feel like I maybe I've been doing them too much. <laughs> no, there's a forest lady. Yeah, crazy forest lady. Um, yeah. And um, so, <clears throat> I still managed to fill up a third of the image with some greenery, so it's still not... <laughs> Uh, but anyway, so but I so not forest. So what? So well, if if it's not forest, it's gonna be either a town or a city or something like that. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah, okay. And um, 
I just really like looking at cities and towns from a point perspective that would a kid look at, sort of. Um, I have this a lot in my uh, May sketch a day from last year, by the way. There's a lot of stuff that's uh, as if a kid, like there's this one where um, a guy is going down a hill with uh, his bike and he sees a, a fire on the uh, ground next to the hill. Mm-hmm. So it's basically, that kind of happened to me, right? Uh, I used to, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I used to bike in the weekends a lot uh, where I was living and I, uh, actually me and Nikolai, uh, we really like just uh, going up that really, really steep hill. And we basically go the, the steep hill the whole day, the whole morning with the bikes. Like it takes us like four hours or something. And then for 40 or 50 minutes, we just go down like lunatics, right? We just yeah. speed down and it's amazing, but sometimes um, we just go in the morning and we spend, we spend a whole day there and, uh, and we just have some fun and then later on, especially when it's the summer, you prefer to go down when it's a little bit chillier so the sun doesn't burn your back and it's and the wind just, it's really cool. So mm-hmm. if there was, we've seen so much shit <laughs> just swishing by with our bikes just looking at people's um, houses and just the weird stuff that they do or just someone goes on a hill that no one goes to and they think they can do whatever they they do the weirdest shit like put do make fires or whatever so anyway uh so this was i was thinking about um um so yeah sneaky places like under a bridge where you skate or you go for f- for <laughs> for frogs in the river or something we know what kind of frogs do we know what kind of frogs go in that river looks like a poisonous river looks like um there might be some chemicals in that river <laughs> right, right henry like uh, i guess so <laughs> spe- special frogs so anyway yeah um, Henry, do you want to send me, no, I know what we're going to do. I'm going to ask you a bunch of questions. Okay, sure. Let's go to Instagram. There's so many, okay. (laughs) Why? Okay. Here we go, ladies and gents. This is your boy, Henry. You you started doing some uh, watery thingies. What's, what's, what's up with that? I started to do what, sorry? Some, well, underwater stuff. Um, I don't know, uh, I don't think I drew many things on the, like, have many underwater scenes, so I thought it would be pretty cool to tackle. And also I think I saw, like, Young Ling, and, um, what's the other guy? Lick Sing Yin, or something, uh, do something similar, so I was like, I want to try it out, so, um, thought I'd give it a shot, and it's a lot of fun, um. Underwater scenes are pretty neat because you can hide a bunch of stuff. Uh, it's all like, I don't know, when you when you sort of paint like underwater scenes, it's almost like fake atmospherics going on. Because, uh, well, it's real. I really like the green one with the shark, with the, yeah, the green one. I, I it's, it's probably my favorite. It's really good. Uh, thanks. It, it's, uh, I like it because it's, a very um even though it's underwater you can see um pers- 
sort of where you can feel the perspective somehow and oh, yeah, uh, maybe <laughs> well y yeah i mean you can also do that with you no know, it's almost impossible to feel like um i don't know it's less possible with the other ones so this is why i, I like this more okay and also i feel like the color palette is richer maybe also yeah or maybe i just like green a lot <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> i i i really like following i thought that you started following some uh, fish instagrams <laughs> like i did and i was like oh henry uh is into fish instagrams now like me oh <laughs> uh, yeah um I guess because I only follow like artists or martial art people, like my, my Instagram feed is pretty boring, pretty the same. So like I saw some people follow some like really cool like nature stuff. So, yeah, like, yeah, it's really cool. So I follow help with uh, inspiration, just like changing your feeds, yep. adding things. Yep. Um, it just changes how you look at stuff, I suppose. Yep. Yeah, there is this one, one, one of the many fish instagrams that i follow there are these people in 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 japan that yeah. look after their fishes for the you know those gardens with the fish and everything so they have yeah. to clean the gardens right so they take the fish out and they they hug them and they kiss them and stuff it's like <laughs> a dog and it's so and they're so beautiful they look like dragons and stuff Oh, that's pretty neat. So cool, yeah. And they're and they're like hugging because it's a giant fish, right? And yeah. they they just hug the fish and put it in a like in a bucket of water so it doesn't die while mm -hmm. they clean the thing. And they just while they carry it, they kiss it a bunch of times and they put it in the water. <laughs> it's just <laughs> so bizarre. Or like videos of like different kinds of fish uh befriending a person or some it's so weird it's really cool it's really cool it's really cool and i was like oh henry is uh <laughs> into, i'm a weird fish person into fish now that's so cool <laughs> <laughs> anyway okay i'll i'll start I'll stop this is the name dropping episode <laughs> um so anyway okay i think i think i'm gonna I think I'm gonna stop the stream. How long have I been streaming? I don't even know. Oh, 20 minutes? Wow. Okay, at least it's not... I, I, yeah, I said so, like, 100 times more things than the last time. Last time I was half dead. I'm sorry, guys. Henry's here to make me yeah. uh, sound more we're interesting. <laughs> yeah, we're just trying out new things and... See how it works. Try to get over being camera shy. Well, yeah. Oh, by the way, I feel like I'm the. Um, I. I should. I don't know. Mm. I should do more flamingo things, right? Yeah, I I like the flamingo. I like the whole new paint direction. It's really <laughs> you do a lot of green things, I think. You do a lot of green stuff. So maybe pink is the is uh, in season. <laughs> it is in season. So I should, um, do you use, um, do you prefer using, um, YouTube videos for live drawing sessions or do you prefer going to live drawing sessions? Oh, uh, like yeah. A, like a real I'm person. Good. Yeah, yeah, uh, I'm asking you, yeah. Um, I, I like to go to more actual life drawing sessions, like in real life, but I can, I don't have much time for it. I do try to do it at least like once or tw 
once every two weeks. Um, but it's a bit difficult just because of life. Um, so I, I use a lot of like online resources, which are pretty good. But the problem is the sometimes if you if you use those resources a lot, um, I guess the same images keep on pop, uh, keep on popping up, and you're just like, oh, okay. Um, but it's always good to retackle uh, old poses and see if you can improve it. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. There was this one woman on. Uh, you probably know Crookies. I don't know how to pronounce this. Is Crookie Cafe or something? Anyway, it's a channel only full with just um, just like drawing session professional models posing in real time. Like they're posing for two minutes and then they're changing the pose, and it's not just a frozen photo, but like the person gets tired and. You have to keep that in mind and everything, like a leave, sort of almost like a real life drawing oh, session, yeah. which which is cool, right? Uh, and yeah, that's pretty cool. Actually, the cooler part is that you can change, like, if you don't like that model, you can just play the other video. Um, okay. And there is this one woman that has the shortest legs in the universe. I swear to God. Why is she a model for painters? She's so confusing. She's like a tabby, but a person. <laughs> I was telling you. Said tabby, like tabby cat? Yeah, I mean, just because, okay. because, because her legs are so short. It's like, what? And, and, and there's no way you... Like, no one should be drawing that woman. I know it sounds cool, but it's just... <laughs> <laughs> well, no, I don't mean she's she's a beautiful woman. Um, there's nothing wrong with her. She mm -hmm. looks nice. It's just her propor proportioners are a little bit off. <laughs> uh, it's well, you know what I mean, right? I mean, it's not. Yeah, I, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have to. I don't want to. I don't want this to turn into like a. a an evil session, but I will find the video and <laughs> I'll show you what I mean. So anyway, this is the excuse I give myself for not having good live drawing session sketches. <laughs> Your legs are too short. Why are you not beautiful? Be perfect all the time. Oh, by the way, <laughs> um, artists, right? Perfectionist people. So, um, actually, maybe I should tell you this story later when we're off air. Sure. I really want you to come to teach you, but it seems like you're not coming. I'd like to, but I don't have enough time off. <laughs> I know. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna be, because so the first time, the last year when I, when it was my first time. I felt like most people knew them each other, like uh, they already had sort of I don't know something to start with, okay. and I'm and I'm like oh next year I'm gonna <laughs> bring my squad <laughs> and show them. Show them your squad. I don't know what I'm gonna show them, <laughs> but. I'm neither gonna bring my squad or show them because my squad is busy. Yeah, I, I feel like this is turning into a hangout session. I think I'm gonna end the, the stream guys and we're gonna see you guys next week and talk about 
painting and drawing a little bit more. See you guys later.